Hello, my beautiful crew. Um, I just, uh, my hair's all wet, you know, whatever. I'm going to go out into um, the paddle, into the lake. We're going to take the paddle boards today. So um, I'm just getting ready. Um, anyhow, I have been absorbed in creativity with the kids and we've been making tie dye and sun catchers and jewelry and we've been gardening and painting and using our manifestation skills. So I have totally taken a hiatus um, from social media and uh, sorry I've got people trying to get a hold of me at the same time here. I'm trying to get rid of this. Anyway. Um, so we've been taking some time off of social media, but today I'm back because I want to talk to you about a portal coming up tomorrow. So it's important for you to disconnect and let go of the old so that you can bring in your creative side out of the shadows um, and help us shift into higher dimensions. So we have a chance to jump timelines tomorrow, but I also want you to know what you're doing and why so that we can seal these old ways and flood past karma and trauma and move with uh, into higher ground and higher frequencies of light. In this video, I'm going to tell you about some deep, dark secrets that have been ex imposed upon you um, and exactly why we need to drown them out with light. But just like the shadow side, we have to know what we're letting go of because karma has been opposed, um, imposed, I keep saying opposed, imposed upon us even if we didn't get initiated or agreed to it in the first place. So here we go. If you're anything like me, I love a good movie or a show, but I've also known about secret manifestation techniques that the elite have been using on us since the beginning. So there's subliminal messaging and there's the new world order uh, that goes into Freemasonry and elite political figures in Hollywood, um, politics obviously, uh, Hollywood stars, higher up media outlets. Hold on a minute, dang it. Um, Sorry, music artists have been using this on us, um, even if they don't know it because they change the frequencies. So you may have heard of MK Ultra, that program, but they'll um, only say as much as they want to in interviews and slip ups, so they don't talk about it widely, um, but people are starting to figure that out. You can especially see these programs in movies and shows like The Handmaiden's Tale and Clockwork Orange, um, Stranger Things, and many others. I told you they put things in plain sight to show you what they're doing, so that you won't have, or so that they won't have to deal with the karma of it, right? Because they told you. Dang it. I know that for some, this is a hard pill to swallow, and I think most um, of you think that I've fallen off my rocker, but I'm not here to, uh, well, I didn't start this channel in the beginning to be adored and loved. I started this channel to help you see what's going on under our noses and help you to realize that you are part of source energy, meaning you, my sweet light beings, have all the authority of God because you are God, not higher up, I am above everyone else but a higher dimensional consciousness that started to remember why we were here in the first place. What is the purpose of life? To know each aspect of oneself and to see to our true connection in divine um, and see whether we're connected with the, um, all of that and to start moving up um, into it, into ways that you can only dream of to manifest. To manifest what the ancients has, have been uh, trying to tell us and dark beings have masked but um, they've also hidden them in plain, plain sight so that we knowingly, or actually unknowingly, um, we unknowingly agreed to this by forgetting our, um, our being or um, falling when we came into this world. But we are climbing ourselves out of it and then, oh dang it, stop that, stop that. Flickering, it's driving me crazy. Um, but we're climbing out of it um, for ourselves and then, uh, we have to see our true self and our true being and connect with source energy. Um, and that's really within us. So all of that darkness that was forced upon us, um, you know, goes bye-bye. And so here it is. Oh my goodness, my daughter's home. So it's going to show me that too. I also have this app that shows me uh, what I've written down because otherwise I'll forget and go off into tangents. So I've got to fix that too. Um, we all know that symbolism is a subconscious tactic that has been used in military operations for centuries to brainwash you into forgetting who you are and how you were brought up um, and to redirect our thoughts and mold them into a new way of thinking um, that fits their agenda, um, the agenda of the higher ups um, or the elites. 
So many people read ancient texts and although they think that we have, uh, that they have faith, they're not seeing this as happening right before our eyes, which is crazy to me. I, I don't understand it. All of the world's religions and ancient writings talk about certain prophets or religious icons and we see that they have followers, right? That um, they love them and they carry out their agendas and they're fooled and tricked and this is what, you know, they think. And this is, it's just beyond me how people don't see that that's actually happening now. Like we're, they're, of course they're in the media. They're, you know, all these ancient writings talking about um, these people, um, you know, that are followed and loved and we're like, oh, they're so stupid. I cannot believe that, you know, I would never fall for that. So did you think that they weren't slick about how they sang their songs like the Pied Piper in order to get that following to begin with? They weren't in the shadows and um, we assume, uh, they weren't in the shadows like we assume um, demonic entities would be. They're in the spotlight and they have thousands of followers and people that love them and believe the lies that they're all telling. Did you really think they would tell us the truth? Come on. And they're all so transparent. No, they're in our faces and ancient writings aren't talking about mythical BS. They're talking about this in story form um, in order to pass it on and see it when it happens. So this is happening now. Your faith is shit if you don't see what's happening right now and you're not doing, um, they're not doing humanitarian work in order to save us all, come on. Okay, now here I am. Okay, so they're killing us and they've told us so many times, seriously. They think we're so stupid because we're following them down to the slaughterhouse. Look at the global elites that are in the spotlight right now and you have to realize that many of them are uh, taking us for a ride. Don't forget that the Hopi prophecy tells us that we are the ones that we've been waiting for. Once again, my crew, you are the light. This means that you are the hero that has to wake up and stand up. Not one person or a messiah is going to come in and save us all, in my belief anyway. It is us, right? We have to stop allowing it um, and say, I am, right? I am everything. I am God. That's what um, the name of God is, I am. Now, um, they put it all in our faces, okay? So, the all-seeing eye, what is it? The eye of the top of the pyramid. Why is the capstone missing? It's detached from the rest of the body and usually hovering above the mass underneath like it's been illuminated, right? This is a, rep a representation that they watch over us, the watchers, and that's in the Bible, and the eye of God. Remember that I've told you in other videos that they think they are God, and I don't mean like we, we do as in we're all a collective of sparks of God. They really think they're higher, they have higher bloodlines, and that they have authority over us. So we have to stand up and remember who we are. Um, so one eye is in the dark, right? And one eye is illuminated. And that's why they want you to, um, they want you to see what they show you. Um, and then they hide the rest, right? The other eye is hidden. Um, so think about what you say after a prayer too. This has to go with the Egyptian stuff in the eye of the pyramid. I had to yell at my dog and now I'm back. So here we go. Anywho. Um, so think about what you say after a prayer. We say amen. What does that mean? It ties into the pyramids as well. So the Egyptian, ancient Egyptians. Um, amen Ra, the god, the Egyptian god. Amun was the god that created the universe. And Ra was the god that created the sun. Or he was the sun. So S-U-N and S-O-N are interchangeable. Um, like we've talked about before. So we are worshipping the sun is what they're talking about. They're, we're worshipping the sun. It's a sun worship like it has not in, been in ancient days. The sun dies every month on the cross or every month, every night on the cross. Um, and I think it's called the ecliptic is what it, um, it dies on the cross. So I think it's called the ecliptic. I should have looked that up, but I didn't. Um, but it dies on the cross. And you'll see that sometimes in... Um, on churches and stuff they'll have a circle with the cross in it that is that line I'm talking about which I think is called the ecliptic maybe it's not because I think the ecliptic is a... anyway regardless you know what I'm talking about um, so let me see where I'm at here um, so a moon was uh, the God creates the universe okay let's see isn't this nice that I'm so organized but you know if I don't put this up here then I lose my train of thought so we've got to have this. Okay, um, so every night the sun dies on the cross and then it uh, is risen every morning. Um, and so it goes into the underworld and then it's risen again. So 
the sun is what they think is going to save you, right? And if the sun doesn't come up, um, of course we die. So of course it has to come up to save us. Um, however, I tend to think that the sun has to do with bringing up our consciousness. So every time the sun flares, um, you'll see that consciousness and the um, it also ties into the uh, Schumann resonance. So it's the sun and the heartbeat um, that will rise and, and fall. Um, so the sun was widely worshipped in ancient times and is still very prominent in today's organized religions. The sun is also the symbol um, of the swastika. So the Nazi scientists that were leading people into their death, they didn't get defeated, my crew. They paid these scientists to come over to America, to Russia, to China, and all over the world to advance medicine, uh, monetary systems, uh, religion, and schooling. Um, that's where we're getting all of our brainwashed ideas on ruling the masses. They're ruling over us. And I'm not saying all of them are Nazis, but all, you know, they, they have these symbols um, in a lot of their things. Um, so these politicians are supposed to represent us. They were supposed to work for us um, and be our mouthpiece, not to rule over us and tell us what to do. And believe me, they worship a totally different entity than what they're telling us. So the all-seeing eye in the pyramid means that they are the watchers. Um, so let's look at the symbolism. It's on the dollar bill. Um, it's also, oh, so it's on the dollar bill here in the U.S. Um, it, it's all over the place, but we've just seen it in um, every celebrity who's high up to, um, enough to be paid and taking public pictures. They cover their eye or they emphasize it, right, by doing this, the okay sign that's supposed to be 666. Um, and by the way, before you say anything about me, me not being a follower of Christianity, let me tell you this. It's not that I believe in these things, it's that they do. And it's a mantra and a mudra. So mantra is speaking things um, over and over again. And so what you think about, you bring about. And mudra is the hand uh, gestures that we use. Um, so it's not necessarily evil in itself, it's what you think about, you bring about. So the, you're, they're manifesting it purposely and it's repetitive, a mantra and a mudra. So you start doing it too. So the devil horn symbolism, you know, when we're like in pictures and bleh, you know, that's, I mean, that's part of a mudra that they want you to continue doing. Um, and like I said, it's not necessarily um, going to provoke certain things, but it's a mindset. It's their, their uh, messing with your mind. It's like an MK ultra kind of thing. Okay, so this is, uh, mudras are what we use in meditation to enhance our intent um, as well as chanting and the, the mantras. That's what they're doing as well. So they're making you repeat certain things over and over again. So back to the symbolism, the all-seeing eye is inside of a pyramid many times, which you also see in pictures and videos of uh, big, big celebrity names in this hand gesture that they put out all the time. Um, and that's also a mudra. The one eye is also a, represent, a representation in Freemasonry, which is also a, the society that's sworn to secrecy, secrecy can't even say it, um, and perform rituals. Um, like, so the, a, a lot of these um, politicians and um, Hollywood dudes and chicks um, and musicians are in these things. That's how they get so high up, in all, in all honesty. Um, you don't get that high unless you know certain things and you agree to certain things um, and that's where I think we get this like brainwashed kind of thing like um, well I sold my soul to the devil it's like this is what you know you're getting fame and fortune type of thing and I don't mean everybody because there are some people even that they have these symbols and stuff um, in uh, pictures and videos uh, that are um, actually speaking out against it at the moment Okay, let me see where I'm at, people. Let me see where I'm at. Okay, so, especially presidents. Okay, presidents, they all admittedly are a part of these things. Majority of them, I think, and maybe even all of them. They openly talk about the Skull and Bones Society, and they'll all tell you that it's a secret. It's so secret that they can't talk about it. So George Bush Sr. and Jr. both say this on camera and to the public many, many times. There's also very open talk about the New World Order. They talk about it all the time. Where have we heard in ancient texts about the New World Order? Um, and the government has been known to uh, talk about those things for so long and we didn't see this happening. I mean, seriously. They have black book operations that are being declassified right and left about testing on human subjects 
and they told us that it was a conspiracy for so many years but now it's coming out that this was the truth so things like project mockingbird right project mockingbird uh, was a cia operation that uh, spied on its citizens and then told them what to do and how to think um, by this feedback and making um, the media make up their own stories and twisting the truth in order to keep us in line and it was all a conspiracy, right? Until Edward Snowden came out and told us that we were being spied on by the NSA. That wasn't a conspiracy, it was truth. So that, but that, you know, the word conspiracy stopped, stops us from talking about things. Um, so they're, they're, you know, especially in groups, right? They don't want us in groups talking about things like this. Um, so all of a sudden they ta stopped talking about the NSA because they didn't want us to know about those things. Um, so they all have their hidden symbolism in their logos too, like all these uh, big media corporations. They're owned by six corporations, right? Um, like Disney, it's got the sixes in there. And uh, I think it's like, is it uh, NBC or something? I can't remember. There's I, there's like an I in there. I mean, there's all kinds of symbolism all over the place. And there's suns, suns all over too, in a lot of those. Um, so, uh, Project Paperclip, that was the one where the Nazi scientists um, were brought over to continue their studies in human, um, on human subjects. Um, one very well-known one is the LSD project that they were trying to dive into the human psyche in order to control people through that drug. But then it was soon shut down after they realized that it was a psychedelic and it was actually helping people connect with source. So I'm not an advocate for acid, but I'm telling you that they stopped doing it because it was very similar to ayahuasca and mushrooms. Um, and it was helping people dive deep into their psyche and, um, and figure out who they were. So they quit that. They put the kibosh on that. Um, this is uh, ancient wisdom. So ancient wisdom brought down from shamanic healers through plant medicine, and that's why it's li widely illegal. So we can't have shaman uh, teaching people and um, you know bringing people into uh, their psyche and breaking through barriers. Um, you know we can't have them all willy nilly figuring out who we were, who we are. They wouldn't be able to control those people if they knew. Um, if we really knew ourselves and started to um, own our abilities to connect within our own power to take our power back right that was my that's what my entire channel is about is taking your power back and I don't mean because I know that there's a lot of people um, that are very much against mediumship because they say you know well it's in the Bible you're not supposed to do that well you know what the Bible was also very is is very twisted I mean they've got um, you thinking that you've got to go through them you know certain places got you thinking that you have to go through them to um to talk to god when god is within now i'm not saying go talk to demons you know what i mean like there's definitely ways to do it and ways to protect yourself but you were born with these abilities and part of that is connecting to god himself or um itself or herself um so god is everything right okay so let me go back to this so I go off on tangents. It's wonderful. Now let's get back to the disconnection tactics. Divide and conquer. We're all fighting over fear states. We should be coming together as light beings, rising up in our consciousness um, and loving one another. This is the second coming in my opinion. It's our consciousness um, and the sun helps bring that up. The golden age is upon us, but we have to see, oops, I totally spun that fast. Um, but we have to see through our own shadow side first, which is why I'm getting into this um, channel I was getting into this in the first place I talk with my hands a lot don't I that's very much what we do in my family but you know whatever I'm just adding my bloopers in here because I really don't give a shit at this point I used to so now that we've seen it let's also talk about problem reaction solution this is the way um, that they like to do things and steer us in the direction that they want us in so we're now finding out in the mainstream anyway because many of us have already known that this disease dis-ease has um, spread across the entire world and they shut down the entire world which they've never done I mean come on um, it has many more or less invasive uh, invasive ways of, of healing so they're trying to get you to heal by doing this now you know everybody has their own choice but you should know what is in it and what is happening and they're not telling you any of that stuff believe me and if you want to go to my telegram um, mystic medium telegram I've got a ton of information on there that you're going to shit your pants about so I suggest that you go there and try to check it out so get the telegram app find mystic medium and there's a ton of stuff that I've posted on their videos and all kinds of stuff um, just to start research I'm not saying that that is your research um, 
but you know start paying attention to stuff um, like that and you know we all need to sometimes I don't even pay attention so I'm not the, <laughs> the world's perfect uh, researcher on this thing either but you know if we all come together and figure some stuff out together um, then you know we've got a better shot of course they don't want us coming together right okay where am I at because I love going on tangents <sighs> Okay. Okay. So they've got the jab. Okay. So this is an experimental jab that changes our DNA forever. And you know, everybody wants to argue with me over that, but it does. It changes your DNA. So it was rushed through all of the testing. Um, and it's in fact still experimental and we're being told that we have to, um, have it now to be able to breathe freely, right? Like you can't go out um, into society or into public or into school. You can't go to school without either this or, you know, they're making you uh, make a choice. Okay. So I know that this is controversial um, at this point and I don't, I, I don't really give a shit. <laughs> so these are the facts, right? This is the problem reaction solution. So the problem, we have a major disease that shut down our entire world, which has never happened. Like an entire freaking world. Come on now. Um, so it's not just one nation, it was all nations. And this problem is now being realized openly that it was a man-made and lab leaked completely purposely in my research and opinion, but you can have your own, of course. Um, so there's that, um, that that's the problem. We have this disease that they've created. Then the reaction, we all freaked out and we all lost our minds. We all had to wear masks and you know, they got us to basically police each other. So the reaction is we have to wear something on our faces to cover our breathing and show the world that we are in fear um, and to distrust ourselves and to distrust our bodies and to distrust each other. We have people policing each other in fear that we will kill our beloved family members if we don't comply. That my friends is some bullshit, okay? So then there's the solution. So the solution for them, um, because they created the problem, right? And created the panic. So now they create the solution. What's the solution? You take a, an experimental jab and then make it mandatory. My honest guess and intuition, and I'm not kidding, I think that they're going to allow us to walk around freely for a while as if we've been fully jabbed. And then they'll pretend that it's, you know, it, the numbers get ramped back up because they totally did that. Um, and then, uh, they're going to say, oh my God, you know, everybody's, um, nobody's wearing one and, and it's your fault. The ones that haven't gotten the jab and they're really going to make everybody go off on people for having their own choice. Um, so that part, um, and they, they did fake the numbers. So this part is not a conspiracy at this point. If you're awake, they're admitting it. So I'm not saying that the disease is fake. I'm saying that they're blowing up the numbers. So even my children's pediatrician laughed and nonchalantly said, it's weird how there, there's not been a normal flu season this year. It's almost been non-existent. So I think she said at that point um, that there had only been one case of the flu in her office or something, which was crazy. And this was, oh God, this was in like January or February of this year. Um, so, hold on. Okay, now, everyone uh, was diagnosed by this test, right? And I'm not gonna say the names because I'll get kicked off of here, even though I'm probably going to at some point and I really don't give a shit. Um, but it was not supposed to diagnose any specific disease. So it picks up all of the diseases, all of them. A cold, the flu, any anything. So my intuition, like I said, is going to, they're going to raise those numbers and they're going to be like, Oh my God, it's, you know, whatever. But the guy that created this, um, uh, what is it called? Like the, the test, I won't say it starts with a P, but, uh, I won't say the test name, but he's the one that created it. And he even admitted that it was not meant to be, and you can watch him verbally say it. It was not meant to be, a, for diagnosis because it will diagnose everything. So he even said it. Um, so let's see. Um, so how we, how dare we have our authority over our own bodies, right? And we put, uh, what we put in it. So this whole, my body, my choice will get thrown out the window and we'll have mandatory papers. So papers, where have you seen that at this point? History repeats itself, right? Your papers, please. Where have we seen that before? I told you the Nazi scientists never went away. They're paid the big bucks. They were paid the big bucks to come over here and keep experimenting on human subjects. So back to the problem reaction solution, because I like my tangents. The solution doesn't stop at the jab. Let me rem remind you that this jab um, that changes your chemical makeup forever, that can't be taken out or taken back, 
was pushed through testing with only uh, months of testing okay because it wasn't because it was an emergency status that's how they got it right and they knew this was coming out come on you can't tell me they didn't know this yes they did they all knew it and they put it out purposely so that they could say it was an emergency um, you know and whatever you can believe what you want to believe but this is totally what I believe because I've done a lot of research on it and um, so let me see so yeah, now you can't even get like a religious uh, exemption or anything. They're trying to do this in the schools. They're trying to do this with um, the colleges. Uh, I have two girls that are in college and they're trying to pull this crap where, you know, you can't come into our school next year if you don't have this uh, mandatory. Or, yeah, it's they're trying to make it mandatory um, with, and no exemptions. Like they're trying to make it so where you can't have an exemption. I think right now you might be able to. Um, but that's where they're headed, my, my crew. That's where they're headed. And so um, now we're not able to go anywhere. We're not able to learn anything. We're not able to make our own decisions or go anywhere without papers. So it'll be cake to add this on easier when showing proof by implanting it, right? So they're going to be like, oh, it's so much easier if you just implant it. Um, so, you know, you can call this conspiracy. But that, I mean, think about how this is, what this is leading up to. So this is a fact, they already have these chips and you know this, um, you, you know, people have seen this all over the place. They have these so that you can like scan yourself and pay for groceries and scan yourself and all your medical laws or um, things come up. But it, they're thinking that they can override right now these HIPAA laws basically, like some of these um, places, like if you go out to dine, they're trying to make it mandatory that you have to show them your papers to be able to walk in there without a mask. So, uh, you know, Nazi Germany all over again. So pretty soon, uh, and not breathe without the mask, right? And I told you what breathing, your breathing is connected to source energy. It's connected to God, which is why it's in all of these, uh, like yoga practices and meditation. Um, it's breathing, um, chakra cleansing. You've got to cleanse, um, your chakras and you connect to God or source energy, whatever you want to call it through breath. That's why, you know, you would die without your breath too. Um, so welcome the dawn of a micro trip where you can't buy and sell goods without it because you don't have the ability to go anywhere without it. So where have we heard this before? In what ancient text? Could it be the mark of the beast? Maybe. I mean, I'm sure it says it in all these ancient writings. It's just easier for me to do it in Christianity because I was, um, I was brought up in a Christian setting before I became a Buddhist. And really the only reason why I became a Buddhist was because I thought all these ancient religions have um, a lot of truth to them, but they were all hiding the truth as well. And so my, um, what I wanted to do was research all of this ancient stuff um, and, and find the truth. And so that's why like Buddhism to me is just more of a way of life. Um, so anyways, I digress once again. So I'm not even um, a part of that religion um, and I can totally see this. So wake up. You are the second coming. It's you. Seriously, it's you. And not in the way that many would like to say, I'm, in, um, I'm full of myself and that I'm an abomination because I use my intuition. You were born with this and you're going to trust those that have held you down and twisted every word of your ancient text to define what it was that they wanted you to conform to. They took our books, they took your Bible, they took everything, all these ancient texts and hid them in order to control us, right? They, they've done this with main, many, many ancient texts across the board. And they've taken out uh, chapters and all kinds of stuff in the Bible and they've rewritten it like thousands of times. This is driving me insane, I can't believe this. Anyways, so I want you to trust your intuition because it's literally your connection with source. It's the voice of God that's within you. It's the oneness within you that you are awakening to. So you have to wake up. They're right in front of you trying to suppress every bit of your wild spirit to conform. We are the ones we've been waiting for, right? This ancient Hopi prophecy, I, I always have to say this, we are the ones we've been waiting for. So don't, um, I don't speak these evil truths to scare you. I speak them so that you see the shadow side because it's also within us, right? I want you to light that spark of God, the God self, and enlighten the darkness within all of us. So when we do that, we all wake up, we all see through their bullshit and realize that all of these ancient writings are, um, be it religious, tribal, are God-given abilities to remote view, to see, uh, see spirit, hear it, feel it, 
in different dimensions and no source energy because you are source energy. Do you want to know how to beat it? Go with it. You have to meditate. You have to find that voice within and listen to the light because they talk to you through not just their words but feelings and laughter. And um, the, the elite, right, the, whoever, whatever you want to call them, the dark side, um, they want to push peer, uh, fear inside of us and um, so that you can't breathe that um, spirit inside of every cell of your body um, so that you're weak. They want you to be weak. Um, and if you are a part of spirit, um, you have the ability to move past all of this and you have um, the ability to move beyond all of that fear. So this is how you fix that. You go out and enjoy nature, okay? Get off of social media, stop watching this. Um, so you, uh, anyways, there's portals. That's what I was gonna say. Uh, and then I lost my track. Um, there's portals that we get up to, uh, we get to rise up in vibration. And tomorrow there just happens to be one that we get to take advantage of. Um, so we don't do that by loving, f uh, dang it, what, am, what, do I, what, do, what do I have on here? Um, okay, I put, we have the ability to go beyond that um, and go into states that we can only dream of. And we do that by loving freely and loving each other, once again, to go, um, to get out of animosity and fear and bring each other up in, in frequency. So groups that come together are more powerful, so why do you think that they've stopped us from doing that? Tomorrow is an important energy portal, so there's a, a moon uh, eclipse, I, th I believe, tomorrow, um, and you'll have to look that up um, and see where it is uh, and what time it is where you're, you are at. Um, and maybe I'll try to post the link below to, to check out where that, where that is in your area. Um, but you can be, we can become more abundant in that way. So, go out and live and turn off social media like I've been doing for a couple weeks now. Enjoy time with friends and family. Laugh and use your imagination like a child, like right, childlike imagination. Wake up and stand the fuck up. God is everything. God is consciousness, the alpha and the omega. You are God consciousness in physical form. Wake up. Welcome to your Ascension Creator. I'll see you on the next video.